Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Joan here and today's video is going to be about my first digital camera. Yes, I still have mine and I honestly never thought digicams would be a thing, but here I am now talking about my first digital camera and why I still have it and I'm glad that I do. <laughs> because like I said, with technology advancing so much, I never had the idea that people would be interested in wanting to use low megapixel first generation type digital cameras and for some reason it makes sense in my mind to use film analog cameras which many people would argue and say it's not practical to continue to use but to use low megapixel digital cameras for some reason i can't wrap my mind around the idea of wanting to use that over cameras that are pretty much relevant today and so going back i honestly kept my first digital camera because my dad gifted it to me and it's literally my first digital camera i've ever owned before having a real professional DSLR. And this was a time when I was in high school and I was just focusing on fine arts. Photography was not in the conversation. And then when literally DSLRs came into the picture and was the thing, I honestly didn't know how to wrap my mind on it. And so, because my dad thought it was just like a phase of something I would just think I would be getting into and then maybe get over it after a few months. He bought me this camera and I honestly was disappointed because I really wanted a legit DSLR camera. And I guess this is how parents are. They give you the trial run. They want to see if you really are going to invest your time in getting to learn the thing before actually getting the real deal. So this is my first digital camera. I honestly can't believe I'm sharing this with you uh, just because it's been sitting on my bookshelf for years, almost half my life, I want to say. So this is a Kodak Easy Share ZD710. And uh, it just it just makes me laugh that I'm talking about this. Anyways, it's a 7.1 megapixel camera and let's see what else can i talk about with this camera it's literally like looks like a dslr so my dad thought he could try to fool me but then and i got excited at first until i opened it and played with it and realized it wasn't a dslr so with a dslr you would have interchangeable lenses this literally is a fixed lens uh luckily it, it zooms in and out <laughs> there you go and uh it has a built-in flash uh and this is the back this is the lcd screen it's so tiny and then it has the options here the zoom button the viewfinder and uh you can tell it looks it looks old school uh it says memory card requires formatting okay uh i don't know that's the crazy thing. This camera doesn't even take the memory cards that I use, even though it's an SD. Um, why? Why are you not working? You are working. The noise even makes it sound old. <sighs> okay, now it doesn't want to turn on. Oh, there you go. So. You can see this is LCD screen. This is how it looks like. Oh my gosh. And literally it has a button here for you to share the photos online. And uh, even on top of here uh, with the on and off, there's like a button here where you could share your photos uh, to who knows where. Um, and pretty much on the top, it has a flash and macro and a timer and multi exposure so there's a lot of options here um but yeah it's just it just this is this is how it looks like and now it's turning off and it's 
just sometimes cooperating, sometimes not cooperating. So it's pretty cool because it has an EVF and LCD mode, which means like you could look through the viewfinder or you could look at the LCD screen. To be honest, I think when I got this camera, I didn't even know what EVF and LCD mean at the time. Another reason why I thought I couldn't use this camera is the battery, but thank you Amazon for being able to buy whatever batteries you need. Uh, you would think you would just use two AA batteries, but it has to be like this, like where they're combined or else it won't work. So when I bought the battery and I put it in the camera, I was like, whoa, it actually works. <laughs> it wasn't just going to be stuck on my bookshelf for the rest of eternity. So yeah. And then, like I said, it just takes SD card, regular SD card, but I don't think it can handle more advanced SD cards. And it's crazy. When I think about the times I used this camera in the beginning, I was so determined that I would make the most out of it to prove to my dad that I really was deserving of a legit DSLR camera. So I remember at the time, I was just taking portraits of my classmates and I just was doing the most, taking so many photos with these, which I'll share in the end of this video, uh, just to prove that it doesn't matter what camera you have, you can definitely take amazing photos no matter what. And so this camera has been through the most back then. If it wasn't for this camera, then I wouldn't be able to learn the techniques and the basic fundamentals of photography. and even though it is important that a DSLR gives you more options and gives you more availability of what type of things you can do. But with this camera, I'm surprised it has the options that it has. And then I was able to make the most out of it, which challenged me to do more than and think outside of the box than just what a DSLR is capable to do. So. I just think it's funny. I just, when I look at this camera, it just brings a lot of memories. And maybe because digital cameras were just coming out, who would have thought that, you know, things are the way how they are now. But back then, people really couldn't afford DSLRs. It was just a luxury to have one. And so you end up getting a point and shoot looking like literally the lens cap doesn't even stay that I have tape on the lens cap. Uh, and I'm even surprised I still have the original lens cap. But uh, hey, you do what you need to do to make it work for real. And like I said, if it wasn't for this camera, then my whole career wouldn't even be to where it is now. To be honest, I think it's important to have things like this still that remind you to stay humble, to remind you your upbringing and where you started in your career. Because literally, it's easy to just have a big head, a big ego, and start just forgetting about what it took for you to get through your journey and to be where you are now. So whenever I see this camera, while well, I'm going through my other cameras and things like that, or I'm packing uh, what equipment I should bring, I always get very nostalgic and start missing my dad. And I start thinking about how much effort that it took to prove to him that I was supposed to actually get a DSLR camera and not this but I there's just something I just can't throw it away and I don't think I could ever uh, give it up or uh, just sell it just because I want to make extra money uh, now that digicams are becoming a thing this camera is literally the stepping stone of everything that acclimated to where I am now so I'm glad that I get to be able to talk about this um, because I don't think that many people talk about the first camera that they had or still even own it 
to the point that they can share with you how it all started for them in their photo career. And despite the fact that I don't really photograph as much as I used to, because I'm focusing more on filmmaking, uh, this is still, like I said, a great reminder to remind me that uh, this is literally how it all started. And I'm thankful for my dad for uh, believing in me and uh, despite, um, you know, it's always an up and down uh, journey and sometimes feeling burnt out and thinking that uh, life is so hard and I feel that maybe people would not be interested in my work anymore, stuff like that. Uh, I never let that stop me from doing what I want to do. And again, this goes to show you that uh, this camera is not necessarily, or what type of equipment you have doesn't necessarily dictate uh, how good of photos you can take. Um, it, it all depends on pretty much how much you're willing to do to create the composition, how to light, how to direct, how to um, put something all together. So again, like I said, uh, this camera and this blue tape, that is a joke right now. And so I'm gonna share with you photos that I took with this camera before you go. These photos are literally on MySpace. MySpace, my MySpace still exists. I can't believe that because I don't remember the password. And that's how long ago I had this camera. And uh, I will post a video on using this camera after years of not using it. So stay tuned for that. And uh, if you have any comments down below, you know what to do and let me know your thoughts. And thank you again for watching. Sayonara. It's the end of the video, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, it will help me in the long run. Okay, bye.